Hi, uh, today I gonna show you how you can return as a file in ASP.NET Core Web API. Uh, so let's start. I open my Visual Studio and here I already take uh, one blank project for ASP.NET Core Web API with some uh, sample files uh, for demo like uh, when uh, when client send a request for these files with their name then we return that file as a response of that api so this is the some uh, samples controllers when we take a asp.net core web template so by default this is the controller so first of all i need to add one more controller for uh, a file return type so i am choosing this api and like here i'm using that api controller and then click on add and here we rename it like as i am written this as a files controller and then click on add now this controller is added here so i'm writing here a method for that so it's a public I action result here we take a return type as I action results and then I am taking this as a download file and like for demo purpose I am using here file name and and here you can use your uh, database connections for like uh, users give the file ID then you can search these details in your database then return that uh, uh, file from that path so so i am using like here hard coded hard coded files uh, file name so where uh, like uh, where path is equal to path dot uh, combine and then we will take like a path uh, directory directory dot get current directory and then here i am providing a folder name like our folder name is files and then it's a file name and now i am taking one more variable like a stream stream is equal to new file stream file stream and then here i'm taking that path and it's a file mode dot open and then we return that file return file so we take that stream it's here because this want a, a byte array so here i already converted so stream and then uh, here we provide a content type here if your file is a pdf so you can provide a content type as application slash pdf so if your uh, extension is not fixed so this will take a uh, year this will take uh, automatically on the basis of their uh, extension of that requested file so it's application slash oct oct and then it's a stream and then here we provide a downloaded file name so like i am providing same file name here and then and we also decorate this as http get and uh, we also provide a name for this like i am providing a name like uh, i am providing this as a download file now we are in this application and uh, when the application is run this will 
uh, so the swagger uh, because I am I am select, uh, selecting a uh, open API while uh, creating a template. So this is the default uh, web API that created when we uh, choose a blank MVC project, MVC web API project. So our API is this here. This want a uh, file name. So our file name is this. This uh, sample file dot pdf. So we here go to provide that name sample file dot pdf and then uh, click on execute. Now this will uh, return a file as a link. So simply you can click on this and your file will be downloaded here. So this will file will be downloaded here. So this is the process for uh, how you can return uh, API as a file. So if you you can add more validations like uh, if file exist or not. So you can uh, customize your message according to your requirements. So this is the simple demonstrations for uh, return as a file. And you can, uh, and this uh, content type is like a common uh, content type. It, it it will set the header of that content according to the extension of that file that is requested. So, see, so this is the simple process. So, if you have any questions, any problems, please write in comment box. I will reply you soon. And if you like my videos, please don't forget to click on subscribe button and also click on notification bell so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session